What's up, guys? Welcome back to another episode of the podcast. What's so funny? Nothing, man. <laughs> you know, hey, the I'm, intro, always, I'm always smiling. The right. intro is always cringe. I'm sorry, I can never do Dude, the intro correctly. Dude, I'm cringing. I'm not cringing. You laugh. I, no, I'm laughing at myself. <laughs> Being myself, man, I'm not crazy. <laughs> okay, welcome back to, I think this is episode 10. This is actually a big episode for me, hitting double digits. Um, today we got Cam, how did I say the last name? Old Man? Well, it's definitely not Old Man. <laughs> I call you, could, I it, always it say be Old Man. Odom. It could be Odom. Odam? 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 It could be Odom. O- O-D-A-M. You, is it actually Odom or are you saying? It, no, it is Odom. It's not Odam. I've got that about a hundred times. Like everybody <laughs> says, oh man, it's, is it Odam? And I get, no, no, it's just Odom. And then it's the same story every time. <laughs> okay but if you said old man though so that's a new one well so i i, I call you like old, man. old man <laughs> old man old man no okay i'm i'm pretty i think we're getting 29. sidetracked already um that's all right how about you uh just introduce yourself a bit for people who don't know who you are which they, they probably should know who you are oh they definitely shouldn't but um yeah so my name's cam uh, i keep it simple was it is it short for cameron yeah, it's short for Cameron. But like, but as long as you call me the same thing every time, then I'm fine with it. Okay. Call me Cameron and then start calling me Cam and get weirded out. But, um, but like, like so actually on your birth certificate says Cameron. My birth certificate says Cameron. No. Oh. <laughs> Is there any? Do you think anyone's actually named Cam? Yeah, I mean, I've definitely like seen some TV officially. Shows. Yeah, I mean, I, I think definitely. It's only I, when it's short. I don't know. It's okay. Just depends. Right. <laughs> it could be. It could be just you know lazy parenting. You know what I mean. Just call them Cam. Like at least give them a full name so that when they're mad, you know what I mean. Yeah. I don't know. No. Okay. Well, I but don't know uh, what I'm talking about. But uh, yeah, my name's Cameron or Cam, <laughs> and uh, yeah. So I, I don't know. Used to play hockey. Then okay. We don't care about if you used to play hockey. What do you do? Uh... <laughs> Listen, they care about it all. Okay. They want the full story, baby. Okay, they want the full story. Oh, you want the full story, baby. We got the we got the hockey, then we got the university, then we got Wait, the... Wait, actually, what did you go to university for? Uh, engineering. Do you do any engineering? I do it on a, on a routine basis. The oh, day, yeah, oh, yeah, the, you are an day, engineer. <laughs> the day job. Okay. The day job, and then, uh, yeah, so I did that, and then what else? I started a clothing brand called New Exit and designed all the stuff for that. Yeah. And that was... That's still going on, but it's definitely been challenging. And uh, from doing marketing for that bit for that company or the brand or whatever you want to call it, yeah, it uh, led me into being interested in just taking photos and doing video on its own because I found. I got like, you got like, <laughs> yeah, I found you. I found a mirrorless Sony as well. <laughs> that helped. Oh, you but, found, oh yeah, you shot mirrorless Sony before. Yeah. DSLR. How's the switch been? The switch, <laughs> <laughs> the switch, the switch to what? The switch to the switch uh, to Canon. To Canon? Oh, yeah. Well, I started off uh, with the Sony. Thought it was great. I literally had. But my you just op- got it for reasons, just because you had to get photos the, for the company, right? No, the, yeah. So that's why I got that camera. So I got like I didn't want something crazy. I wasn't getting into photography, videography. Yeah, just something good enough for you know representing the brand kind of thing, getting quality images. Up to quality. Had to get a fifty millimeter lens because the first kit lens. It's I just garbage. It's absolute garbage. But also, I didn't know what the hell I was doing. I don't think it's garbage. I think you just have to know what you're doing with it. Well, that's exactly the opposite of what I was dealing with. Because <laughs> I had no idea what I was doing, and I was dealing with garbage. So then, the that was it. And then I got the 50 mil lens, and then started shooting with that. Enjoyed it, and uh, 1.8. Yes. Yeah. 1.8. That's nice. Yeah. Okay. But, got it. But yeah, that was the the Sony, and then I had my. Sight set on the A7 III. Yeah, you just went, you just went from Sony A6, what is it, 6300 or something? No, just the 6000. The 6000 to A7 III. Yeah, you know, you got to make so big jumps. what happens when you life. work in marketing or in engineering mm. and you just got money to no, spend? That, no, that's not money to spend. That's just desperation for better quality. <laughs> that's just like, this will make me better because okay. my photos are average. Let's take it back. You're 24. 29 actually 29 29 this is so funny you're 10 years older than me yeah man why are you on my it's podcast ten year, bro 10 years senior. Why, why are you on my podcast senior, uh, why am i on it I okay don't know, you tell me okay so you as a as a young kid let's let's go all the way back because why not how how were you like in high school and all this stuff was it different back then in oh, high school? are we going okay so low-key i feel like this is a dig because it's like 10 years but you want to know the real shit i kind of want to know like 
like first of all like what high school was like back then okay so back like then, back like then I'm 10 50. years ago it's not it's not that long like ago I'm 50, well you know we no but it still is a big difference 10 years can, no i'm just I'm a lot just, can happen to a school with you no it's all good so basically um when i was in high school msn was the sh- was the shit and what msn was see the fact you don't know that blows my mind it's just little <laughs> this little chubby icon this little this little snowman green icon in the corner. Okay. And then you sign in. And when you sign in, other people can see that you sign in. And this sounds irrelevant, but that was like the Instagram of high school back in the day. <laughs> it just it was sees literally that you can sign your in. profile name just going, Doom, Cam, Cam signed in. And then you could see like if a girl or some guy, like prob- like doesn't matter. And then you could go have a conversation with them because you know they were online. So MSN Messenger. So you'd have a list of people that were online. Yeah. And... You know, wait, wait. Did you know Kick was that a thing in your no. your time? No, no. If anyone told you that was a thing, it wasn't. <laughs> I've never heard of Kick. Really? Okay, yeah. but sorry, it, you, it's like a messenger app, pretty much. Then MSN. No, we had it just had well, a roller razor, do- and it was sending out text messages with you know the nine keypad, the nine. You know the nine digits. Like you have all the buttons with all <laughs> oh, the letters. Yeah, yeah, in nine I digits. I was pushing nine three times to get a D out of it, <laughs> straight up. How's how was that? You got used to it though, eh? You were going no. fast. No, well, not not really, but it took me a while. There's T9. Okay, I can't really get into this. People that know what I'm talking about may find this kind of funny, but maybe not. I don't they know just, if my, my viewership is your age, but uh, go ahead. So you know the way you dial, when you look at your phone, you see the three n- letters that are on that number? Yeah. So basically, you would have to hit that. Yeah, no, no, I understand. My sister had one. for. But then there's also a different way. That's the T9. That's the pure, like, pure idiot way to do it. And then there was actually where you could, the the phone knew if you hit, like, one eight and like nine and then it would be like the like it knew that even though you had to hit no oh, so it was getting smart technology yeah, you know what i'm saying there was that auto correct that initial <laughs> auto correct okay auto create what about what about in school like were you good student bad student um school what was your did what did you see yourself doing in the future compared to now like kind of like that well definitely thing. um was uh it definitely was a kid thought he was gonna play hockey his whole life so that was really hilarious. Yeah, I that's mean, the second person. I, the other person I had on this podcast thought he was gonna play soccer his whole life. Yeah, I mean that's pretty. <laughs> but difficult. as a kid, you're always like that, you know. Like, yeah, man, why not? You should be like that. I mean, the problem is, is you get realistic too fast, and then you yeah. don't give yourself a shot. But I mean, that's uh, that. It Were you good? Was. I was. I was all right. I played. I played in the OHL for. You played in the OHL for three and a half. Years Bro, I have years. someone in, who played in the OHL in my room. It's kind of cool. Yeah, well, it's not that. It's not that cool. It's just. Wait, isn't that like right under NHL? No, the, <laughs> no. Like, there's tons of guys that can. It's a tough league to make, but there's a lot of guys um, that are good, but like in that league, but they're you're nowhere near the NHL. Like some, like there's good players that can get from there to the NHL, but those are like the top. Yeah, guys. it's kind of like you know, like you're good at hockey, but you're never gonna be. Well, like you might, you might, but like it's clear if you're not. Yeah, you're I mean, just good enough for that. Like that's your level cap. Kind yeah, of thing. you're sizing yourself up against guys that are going to make it, but then you're also no- noticing that you're not as good. Yeah, and you're like shit. I gotta be. At this yeah. Way. Okay. Yeah. No, I understand. So it's a good bearing, but that was it. So I played hockey. That was what happened when you. What was the time that you were like nah? When I was like nah. Oh, I had a rough. Well, when I was like nah was when I was in when I was twenty. Well, actually, wait. Hold. You were playing hockey in high school too. Yeah, just nice. your whole your whole time until what you were when what? I was seventeen for well my whole life but I moved away from home at seventeen lived eight hours away in Sault Ste Marie for two years in the middle of nowhere just going at it just playing hockey just going to the rink and living in going to the mall doing mall walks that was about it what's a mall walk mall walks when you walk around the mall with your buddies and just check shit out go to the pet st- pet store and shit that's literally it uh, like window shopping like window straight up window you shopping. call it mall People walk. Watching. Call it, go for a mall walk. <laughs> Let's go for a that's, that's some pretty that's, like hey, western shit. No, you got nothing to do, and you got to be at the rink at a certain time, so you can't just go in a and you have nothing else. Literally nothing else to do. So, yeah, I should have picked up a camera at that point. It could have. Yeah, you should have. Could have been training myself. But it's funny you've dabbled walking. in multiple things. Then you've been in the hockey game. The, the, yeah, the, on, too many things. I mean, not too many, bro. I think it's good because then you know that hockey's not your thing now. Yeah, definitely, definitely know that. Um, okay, but let's. Sorry, sorry. Let's go back to what happened. <laughs> what happened? Well, basically, I just wasn't good enough. Thought it was. What age was this? This was uh, twenty. Twenty. Yeah, and I got bad knees, but that's the same sob story everyone else says. Yeah. Hey, you have a good knees. <laughs> I did in the senator. <laughs> but no. Uh, but yeah, so they uh, at around twenty, I stopped. I kind of give up on myself, and then started partying way too hard, and yeah. then. Yeah, well, I guess got kicked off my hockey team, and then you got kicked off. Yeah, I got kicked off. Party because you weren't, you just weren't 
showing up. Early. Well, I just did some dumb shit, yeah. man. No, makes, some real no, dumb yeah, shit. No, yeah, I'm not going to get into that. I don't want those details. <laughs> yeah, you don't need the full d- the down low. I mean, it's all good. Yeah. But I don't, I don't give a I re- shit. Hey, respectable. I've done some dumb shit at parties and different things and fucks with your work life. Yeah. No, it definitely fucks with my work life. Okay, but you were what again, sorry? 20. And then... You crashed or what? What happened after? Well, you, after you that, after that, I kicked off. You had a off. depression time. Oh yeah, I was having a tough go there, but then I re- makes sense. Revitalized my or that's the wrong word. I uh, I kind of brought myself back to life there and went to university. How did I, it feel revitalizing yourself? Like oh, were you juiced up hard or was it like kind of like you? Re- it was like a slow revitalization. Where you no, just still feeling like shit. You're I mean, still feeling like shit because you still think like, oh well, I shouldn't have if I screwed that up. Yeah, you're not just, doubting you know, the yeah, classic. Self, yeah, yeah, got it. Understandable. So you're still in that rut, and I was still in that rut. So university was something where I could just kind of link, like latch onto, and just I still I played hockey there, but the main focus was uh, get an engineering degree, which was. I don't really know what I was doing getting it. I mean, so I you still... went for your dream, and then you kind of were like, "Fuck this," and then now you're back in school. So I guess it does make sense how you're pretty like, "Fuck this." Yeah. Well, yeah, it be, but I mean, it should I shouldn't have been because I mean, even if I wouldn't have got you know in in trouble or anything like that, then I would have been in the same position. But it would have been more run its course than when you do something to screw something up for yourself. You kind of feel like you forget about the fact that you kind of you know it's not like you know you can kind of let it go a little bit it's not like you were gonna make it and then all of a sudden yeah well me i don't have an issue with letting things go because the thing is like once you did it like there's always like oh fuck i could have done this this but the thing is it's it's done you know what i mean what's done is done it's done is done it's a catch-22 baby you can't go back but it's true like anything in life like you fuck up i don't know you fuck up like let's say i fucked up this podcast and like i don't fucking know like i dropped my camera on the floor yeah like that doesn't seem too bad okay fuck sorry but it's actually pretty bad for Let's you. Let's say I fucking no, it's, fall it's out bad. my room, fall out my window, break a leg. Yeah. Like, what, am I going to fucking spend the rest of my life just crying? <laughs> no, your leg's going to get fixed, dude. You see, like, that's the, th- like, you know, it'll get fixed, it'll get better fucking at some point. Yeah, right? I guess that's the thing, right? You get the, the physical whole... No, I'd become a robot about it. It's kind of fucked up. You'd be, no, you'd be fine. They'd just give you a nice cast. But, like, even if it's something emotional, like, I'm a robot. You're a robot? Like, Shut up. someone, like, you know... Like, fuck, like, I don't even fucking know. Oh, like, I'm, somewhat, like, the girl of my dreams would okay. break up with me. Yeah. I'd be like, okay. Well, and you'd be like, okay, and just, just take the hit? And I like, d- you know, like, it's the fucking worst thing in the world that could ever happen. Yeah. But I would take the hit. you take the hit? I don't know. I feel, uh, I'm not like that. It just Everyone's depends. different. Everyone's different. I think it's something I trained heavily. Yeah. Where, like, I would just keep getting, you know, sad about dumb, dumb, dumb shit. And now it's just like, what the fuck am I wasting my time on? I could be, take your loss, move on. Yeah. You know no, and, I mean? I, and, I, and I would agree with that. It just depends on sometimes the circumstance as far as, like, if you can learn from it, then you're better off. And then you're good. And then sometimes if you shut off right after, then you aren't open to taking something from it. And you're more focused on Oh, yeah. No, trust me. I, I do take some. I do. I, th- I do. No, take you don't, Dax. You don't take anything from it. You got to learn. You got to learn. I do. I, I, from you the learn. Relationship. You learn and you go. Like, you think people learn at different speeds, bro. I learn. Okay, I fucked up on this, this, this. You know, yeah. like, okay, let's say, you know, I fuck up on trying to close one of the biggest video deals. Why did that happen? I go back, like, I take a day. I take a day. Da, 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 you know, I fucked up. Should I have better presentation? Should I award fucking nicer clothes? This, this, this. Fuck, I know it. Next time I'll fucking do that. And once you once it fucks with your head and, like, you fucked up, it's ingrained in your head, you know? Yeah. You know, like, when you do something bad and your mom fucking spanks you for it or some shit? Dude, that's that's what You're I was... You're never going to fucking do that ever again. You Man, know I, mean? I literally posted something about that today about double checking some shit. And I didn't even know what I was talking about at the time, but it kind of made sense to me. Because the photo looked like I was double checking, so then I wrote something about double checking, and I double check a lot. Yeah. So, what I was kind of thinking when I was concocting some some caption that was whatever, it's like, hey, you're better. Even though you're trying to, it's almost like you're trying to protect yourself from making a mistake. But by not making that mistake, when it was like, if you had to double check, it means that you probably it's not like in your ingrained into you to do the right thing yeah no exactly so if you double check you're kind of getting on that second hit but if you just did it and then got the full heat of of screwing it up yeah then it would be ingrained and then you would do that thing that you were double checking for without the double check yeah mess up on purpose so you you learn what you did wrong okay but uh, we got sidetracked um so you had a you went to school and you're just kind of just going on with your life then i guess yeah just going on with my life and then um i don't know this is a like 
Uh, it was you don't up. fucking remember? Do I not remember? No, it was just a lot of shit. So, like, I went to university. Like, bad I, shit? or like Yeah, I mean, well, I don't know. I lived in a pretty... I was in a pretty wild... Uh, res? Was, I, I don't know. Not, not res, yeah. I mean, I don't know. I just... I had a lot of fun, okay? So, I had a lot of fun in university. And uh, too much fun sometimes. And then, basically, I got out of university, got a, got a job, whatever. And then it was like, what the... Like, what's going on? Didn't really know what to do with myself. Yeah. Then, um, ended up getting in a car accident and screwed up my hand um, for like, so I was out of work for like a year and a half. A year and a half? Yeah, a year and a half. I had about like six surgeries in my hand. Yeah, spread out. So the, it was it was a long time and there was a lot of like, it was not- That must a, have been a tough time. Well, it was going from, it was going from like a hundred to zero, you know? Yeah. Like that's, I mean, even in, just in general, I mean, you're just, you're doing your thing and then you, all of a sudden you're like, what the Your life just on? goes on stop, you know? Yeah, man, you got the tires are still spinning, but uh, it's yeah. I, I got in a car accident, but it wasn't as bad as that one. But no. I do, I, I, you know, I can say like more than most people that I understand what you mean. Like, you know, I don't know, yeah. I don't know exactly how your car accident was, but mine was fucking full on on the highway, ran this guy right from behind, and when you're just going towards that guy and you just can't stop, I was, it was, it was a moment in my life where I was like, fuck. Like no yeah. one, luckily, no one got injured or anything. But well, the, I don't know. I find with anything like that, even like. Even when you, you know, when you just know something, like just the acknowledgement of that something's happened, it's like, oh shit, I got to deal with this. Like, you're just like, oh shit. Like I've been in, I've been in cars where like, uh, like even that I've been driving where like I'm driving back, there's a snowstorm. All of a sudden your car just swerves out or something. Yeah. Like, you're just like, I'm, I'm fucked. Yeah. No, like <laughs> accepting it kind of thing. You're just like, yeah, I'm fu- like, you're just, fu- you're just generally fucked. And then you, <laughs> you feel this weird weight of like, oh my God. Like, cause you're so used to walking around being able to avoid risks and try to yeah. avoid putting yourself but all of a sudden you're just like shit like i didn't see this one coming and then next thing you know you're in it and then it's like oh shit and then you're dealing with it yeah but i mean after that i mean the problem was that at the end of all of it i had to deal with it for a long time yeah so that was well that's a hard one mine was like you know like no one got hurt or anything but i do i did feel it that was my phone by the way yeah, I, I, I did I feel it was important for the long term i don't know if i'm am I close enough to the mic you're fine don't worry I'll, I'll, fix, about, I'll let, fix it. I'll fix it. Let me know about my levels, all right? Okay, bro. So you recovered <laughs> from that and where did it go from there? Well, yeah. So in the midst of all that, I really had nothing to do. So yeah. I started the company. That, that's when you started the company? That's when I started the company. Respect, bro. Yeah, because I had nothing else. Yeah. I, I had nothing else and I had no work. You were just, you couldn't, you're not allowed to work, but you're getting paid still, right? I wasn't getting paid. You weren't? No, I wasn't getting paid. What? You get injury pay or some shit? No, I wasn't getting injury pay because I got fired to like, three days before that. you got fired three days before three days before that, that. just doesn't line up well eh? <laughs> no i mean How, that's what i'm saying it was quite the that was like your situation. below moment oh you could say that you could say oh you definitely i've exp- yeah i've had a few of those but never really learned anything from it so that's it wasn't a surprise to me now that why it kept happening so but at the time it's like oh my god like this is just happens to me like in my life like all this bullshit but like really you're putting yourself in a lot of these positions yeah and if you're not going to take ownership for that then at a certain point i mean you got to stop feeling bad for yourself or other people aren't going to feel that bad for you either yeah so that's i mean that's all it is i mean it's an easy way to look at it now like that yeah it's tough when you're in but when you're in it it's tough it's not something yeah no like the world is not against you like I'm no. sorry, that's not how the world works. No, there's tons of tough circumstances people are going through. Like, mine's nothing to someone, and maybe it's too much for some others. So, I mean, you never know. It's just a lot. Yeah. Of, you, you you handle it. You deal with your shit. But, um, yeah, I mean, that was when I started that. And, and really, it was straight out of, sh- I wouldn't say sheer boredom, but I was always pretty ambitious. You like to start things when you're bored, eh? Yeah, I like to start things when I'm bored, like most, right? <laughs> yeah. I mean, well, you're always doing something. I'm just no, like, it's shit. actually like it's so funny. You're just like my friend Jaden. He has the exact same story as you. He was when he's at work and he's bored. And he's like, I don't want to be here. That's where he gets like best ideas and like you know the best things is when your mind can just roam free, kind of thing. You know? Oh, and, and my I, mind's I agree. roaming at all yeah, times. It's, it's it's in constant roam. It's, 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 in uh, roam it's across the border. You're getting charged uh, extra, eh? Yeah. <laughs> if I was getting roaming fees, man, yeah. I'd, I'd, I'd be broke. Dude, our jokes aren't too good. Yeah, it's pretty is, cheese, but it's also pretty good. Like, you know, it is what it is. We're we're just playing off the Rome. That's okay. Okay, is that was that a joke too? No, that was just acknowledging the, the fact. That okay, we're talking about it. So how did how did that go? What was the setup for all that? Like, you you start from ground zero. You knew jack shit about it. Lit straight up ground zero. Like ground zero is in uh, ground zero is in like I'm googling shit and like <laughs> I had no idea. 
I just knew actually, you were like, I want to make T-shirts. I want to. I want to. No, make but the t-shirts. cool thing about yours, I respect, is that you actually designed it. Because most people, when they they do that shit, they're like, Yo, I'm gonna start a clothing brand. They buy that shit from like wholesale, and they fucking slap their logo, and they say, Buy my shit, and it's like fucking. What are those brands? Like the shitty ass brands, like whatever with the removable tag. Well, I mean the Gildens. Yeah, I mean, Gildan. Like they, they fucking I know. Move. That's what. Well, and you know what? No respect to anyone that wants to do anything creative. I don't. I don't necessarily. I don't judge. Like I don't give a shit about that. <laughs> now you're I, roasting me for judging. <laughs> But I do have my opinion, so I won't throw Dax under the bus. I just think that we, if you just call it what it is. I do, yeah, no, I agree with you, actually. Respect if you're starting it, but I do respect you taking the extra mile to make it more authentic Low and less... Feel that way, Dax, less, mo- key, less, um, less of be. a money hunter. Because I find most people who do the Gildan thing is they don't actually care about the fucking art. They just want to fucking get their tees out because it's a business because it's, it's a yeah business they, well they want the cool vibe of having a, a brand yeah they want a cool they want you know hey i'm a ceo of this big clothing brand that you know does shit you know what i mean yeah and you know you're what? more putting more time into your art but i do respect if you do want to make creative and i actually am a, a victim i'm i'm kind of fucking you have not done that <laughs> i'm a hypocrite because are, are, are you a pot calling the kettle black how do you fucking know what that means <laughs> it's because i'm old yeah, I get it. That's a that's a twenty nine year old reference. Yeah, right okay. <laughs> what other twenty nine year old references you have? No, I'm just fucking. I'm just screwing around. But the, the thing is, I basically <laughs> I started. No, I'm not. Let's be honest. I'm young as shit. But okay. they. Uh, so what happened was, uh, I actually got my. This is kind of funny. So I thought of the different uh, necklines. I'm like, oh, that's cool. Like, whatever. I'll do this. Like, like, let's I, make a fucking square. I'm like, let's make a square. Let's. I just wanted to do something that no one else had done with yeah. a t-shirt, which was hard because I, it had to be a, something fundamental. So I know that, you know, putting a logo, doing this, doing that, adding a tag. I didn't want to turn into a sideshow like where it's like you got to put all this crazy shit on it. I want to do something fundamental that was different. So I did. Yeah. And like the neckline. Base. Is that even possible to do it? Yeah. Why is nobody? Why does nobody do it? Like I don't fucking see. I didn't see anyone with different. I agree. I honestly, you're the only one like, you know, maybe other than these huge fashion people that they throw it in one or two items. But like I, you're the only one I've seen actually really do it. Yeah, well, same, but, and I wasn't necessarily thinking, I wasn't thinking like, oh yeah, everyone, like, I mean, it's just something I generally thought looked cool, so it wasn't just to do it only because no one else that I know of has had done it, it was because I thought it looked cool as a plain shirt, and it had something cool about it, so I didn't have to, like, have all this crazy shit on my shirt to have something stand out, because I like wearing, I've always been like that, I always like to wear, like, original shit. I mean, sometimes not nowadays less. And when you're putting all your money into a clothing business, I mean, you're pretty limited on funds and also limited on, you know, you're going to wear your own yeah, shit. Yeah, exactly. Like, <laughs> so, I mean, I've just kept it to that. But yeah, I got my grandma. She actually sews curtains, which is what, I, you know, she's sewing curtains. And I said, yo, I said, yo, you're sewing curtains. I said, you're sewing curtains. Grandma, can you please sew this neckline? Can you and can I draw the chalk? So I drew the chalk on the neck, and then she cut, and then she cut it, and s- just finished it off. And then I took that to uh, cut, and so I googled all this shit, figured out like trying to find people that make stuff, like actually make it with a with a sewing machine that will make your custom designs like next to impossible. Yeah. Because they're either tailors or they're manu- they're mass manufacturers, and they don't want to deal with your bullshit little design. Yeah. So you got to get some of the right person. So I did that. Brought it to Toronto. Got it. Hey, you, I remember you were going hard on the Toronto to Ottawa kind of thing. Okay, because if you realize how what it's like to get in a car once a month with your with your fucked up hand and then drive and then going four and a half hours to Toronto, chilling in a like a production place and like it's not like super flash and flashy lights. You're literally there's just people with sewing machines and like you know, measuring tape and shit like that. And then you, after you're done tweaking your design or put, you know, making changes and all this stuff and seeing how it turned out and then driving back four and a half hours with nothing because you just made some changes and then you drove, you, so you drive There's nine nothing, hours. None of that can be done online, fuck. No, man, you can't be like, especially with my knowledge, like I didn't know shit. So I was like, all right, well, I guess the best way to do it is to see how it's done. What the fuck? You'd be surprised how complex a, a clothes, like even a t-shirt, like with the, with the under armpit holes and shit. How long you- did this drive and go? Like you were, how many times did you go? This was all in the pre, like that dropping like of the months. brand. Like you're just getting yeah. the shirts ready, right? That was six months. You know, you know Cameron Plummer though, eh? Is didn't he do some modeling for? Or not Plummer, uh, Scrivens. Scrivens. Yeah. How did you meet this guy? I met him through my brother who played hockey with him on okay. the like, cold nights. Yeah. So that was that's how I met. Cameron. Yeah. Okay. No, because that's yeah, actually right. I think that's who because I, I saw him model. Cam. He may be a full like his main name. Right? I think they call him Cam. 
Cameron. I don't, I don't know. I don't know what I'll have to ask him. Because <laughs> that's actually, I think, how I met you kind of thing. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah, because you reached out because you saw that I'd done... Was yeah. it me that reached out? I don't know. Maybe I think it was, was either reached I, out. It was I. I think it was you. Yeah, for the service. Yeah, I never reach out. Yeah, you reach out, eh? <laughs> You reach out and no, I only accept reach outs. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay, you know, so this work. is all all pre stage. You got the shirts. You fucking drove back what like six months in a row. Or six shit? months, and that oh, was fuck half a year. This is all when you're in the injury. Yeah, so this was like in between, like when I wasn't uh, like the injury was better. recent then, eh? Well, it was when I was twenty, and I can do the math. It was like two and a half years ago. Because the brand is like not 20. that old. No, it was like two and a half, two and a half years ago. Damn. No, three years ago. But yeah, it was three years ago about, and then, uh, yeah, at one point my hand was actually like stitched to my, to my hip for a month. What was that one? Michael wow. Jackson. What the heck? Per- permanent, uh, <laughs> surgical Michael Jackson. I, how does that, that feels weird. Dude, it was the weirdest thing in the world. You can, and you can't take it off because it's stitched there. <laughs> I don't Trust even, me. I, I, I don't even want to know. I don't even want to know. No, no, yeah, no. it's some weird shit, but it's medieval shit though. You think it's some new school like health? Like, oh, like, oh, like, this is a new surgery? Well, they grew the skin from my hip onto my hand um, because the... Because, the hell? Anyways, it's just weird shit. Basically, I was driving to Toronto with my hand stuck to my hip and going into the Is that even legal? Shop. I wasn't driving. My mom drove me that time because she, she's the best. That's respect. Okay, so Thanks. you dropped it? How'd, the, how'd it go? How'd it go for the drop? The drop went... Uh, it, it went... Did you... Went so you started doing videos before, though. You were kind of, like, filming it a bit and things like that. Mm-hmm. I I whip I pulled my phone out a couple times, but I mean not really until not until I had the shirts. I don't know. My whole mindset behind it was pretty pretty like it was just you had to have the perfect thing and the, everything needed to be perfect. And I needed to drop it and everything needs to be exactly the same, perfectly done. And so much like yeah, so much you know it was such a pain in the ass trying to make everything so great because it's almost like my it was almost my insecurity of thinking like people aren't going to take me seriously. Yeah. So you overcompensate and make it so like you you go down to the absolute when then i go into zara and i look at a shirt i'm like what the i'm like here i am killing myself to make sure that like this part of the stitching which is never like nothing wrong with it and then you go into some store like that and you see it and you're like like, people don't notice every single tiny detail and it's not to say that i don't worry about them but it's just that don't let it stop you from from just moving forward or progressing with it because I spent a lot of time turning my wheels trying to make it like exactly. Yeah, but it's not even that too. Like one thing is quality is like subjective as fuck. Yeah. Oh, well, I mean. You know what I mean? Like whatever you think that you're going to spend all this fucking time on being like, yo, this is so fucking nice. Like look at this fucking line. Like someone could look at your team and say this is the ugliest fucking thing I've ever seen in my life. Oh, they yeah, but that, I wouldn't relate that to quality though because I'd say quality like if you know what you're talking about quality as in like you know like visual resolution or this that this yeah exactly but it's all but the thing is it's all standard so I think yeah well I know what you're saying like to the I've had this conversation person, with you I think it's I think quality is complete bullshit well to the person to the untrained eye I think I'll stick with that one like to the untrained eye that doesn't know um and there's nothing wrong with it being an untrained eye you're just you're just checking out the video but to yeah. the trained eye. You know, you get so caught up in like what your craft is, like the same way if I was caught up in the clothing craft. Okay, keep going. Yeah, that's all good. Yeah, so when you're getting so into your craft, that's when you're getting so into your craft, basically what happens is that you get this idea that everyone else notices all the minute details that you are now having to consider because you're so entrenched in your craft. Yeah. But then if you don't pull yourself out of it, you don't realize that you're literally spinning your wheels on something and details that the average consumer or someone that's an untrained eye is not even coming close to paying attention yeah. to. And you lose out on a lot of progression, a lot of productivity, worrying about things. It's almost like you peel back a layer and you're like, oh, like I can make it better here. Oh, I can fix this. Oh, I can do all this. Oh, you're looking under the hood when you were just, you could have been fine just driving a car. Like, you know what I mean? You didn't yeah. need to go soup it up. Like, you could have just drove for them. <laughs> yeah, okay. No, I, I completely understand. And then, like, if someone knows what they're talking about, then, yeah, they'll see your shit. But at the same time, the people you're trying to reach are not those people. So who the fuck cares if, you know... You are, though, if you're going to retail. Like, for clothing... Yeah, okay, it makes sense. They'll, makes they'll, sense. They'll re- but then it's almost, like, it's almost dumb because they're going to sit there and scrutinize something that you're, like, oh, well, where'd you get this fabric? Or, like, what's this? Or what's that? It's like, okay, well, what okay, sure, you're going to call me out on that, but is the consumer? And I'm not saying, I've, I've just seen people haven't dealt with that shit, and I, that's why I was so, like, like made sure the fabric was all this and all that. And you just think of all those things, but 
people. Yeah, but I don't think you should let it slow you down because really the amount of time you can save will like, you know, like I always think like, you know, like just fucking do it now. Do this, 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 whatever, and get your shit off the ground and then just, you know, whatever, do shirts, different, whatever, whatever. Once you have like, you know, people who actually fucking care about it, people who see it. Then, you know, you'll have money coming in and you can worry about the technical details. You know, when you're small and you're just trying to get started, don't worry about the small shit because no one's going to notice it. Well, if someone does, it's not a big deal because, you know, you're so small or um, it's not a big deal. And later you can worry about it once you have that that base foundation down, you know, don't worry like about the fucking cherry on top if you don't even have a fucking cake made. You know what I mean? Yeah, and you can't, that was you can't even. Yeah, that was good, man. You can't even build it, and don't try to make the best cake if okay. you've never tried one before. <laughs> you think you're gonna? You can read those fucking instructions every single like you can read them a thousand times, but you're still gonna. Yeah. You know, you didn't know that you had to. You know, wh- like what's wicking it to a to an, a light cream? Like you don't even know what that is. <laughs> yeah. But if you've made three hundred cakes, you know exactly what that is. Yeah. So you know what it looks like. Cake. You just know make what I mean? the cake. You know the feeling. Okay. Just build build the cake. You know. Okay, so now let's get into the transition of you going back to photo and stuff like that. So what happened there? Because I know you've talked about to me briefly about it. You've been doing the company for what? Well, two and a half years, and uh, it's it's been dropped. Or it's been like dropped for like no, men. it's been dropped for like a year, a year and a half. Okay. I think um, you know doing t-shirts. It's just been a, a different experience trying to push something that people aren't used to seeing and also who's to say that it's that good like i'm just i need to i'm trying to find out the word on what people like and what people don't like about it and then but iterating from that after putting a lot of money into an initial drop you don't have the money like it's hard it's like do you double down you just say oh no this is going to work and then you refine that or you just pivot and it became uh Something where I noticed that I wanted to do more different designs, like all these different. So I do jackets, pants, and sweaters. And I started to do all that. I went and shopped that around retail. Had a really hard time getting even anyone's attention um, because there's like 9,000 brands. You realize pretty quickly when you leave your town and you go and you realize and you go to a trade show, you're like, holy shit, like you're literally like a freaking drop in the ocean. But it doesn't mean you can't do it. It just means like it's hard. You got a lot of work to do. Yeah. So financially, it's like, okay, am I ready? Like, I got, and there's ways around it. You just keep shopping it around and keep your samples so you don't have to go. Anyways, that's a whole other side of it. But that was the turning point where I kind of felt like, do I want to spend the rest of my life making, like, putting, dumping money into something to make something that someone might subjectively like and then hope that they do and then buy it and then that's the transaction of creating yeah that's a cost intensive transaction for creating whereas like with a camera and a photo um and stuff like that like you buy your investment you have your camera or your video or whatever you have and then you can just turn over creativity on a regular basis without having to constantly yeah spend money well that's what like i've seen do you like doing designs more than because designs are free right you just design it right kind of thing and then you sell it like you just well, go, you just so go. that's the thing. You want to go custom. So the reason why, I lo- uh, or like no, just like you know, like I don't even find, like clothing designs. Like isn't that like you draw a fucking thing? Yeah, I mean, I, I guess you have to build. You have to fucking sew, sew it and shit. But. You got to sew it and shit. So that's one step that I skipped because I was like, I don't want to actually sew the shit because I don't like. I just thought it was. I just wanted to get it done so I could scale it or whatever, so other people could make it. I never. I mean, looking back, it'd probably be more ideal if I just learned how to sew, then sewed my own one sample, and then saw what people thought, and then I paid no money. Because those, whenever you're making something at a small scale, it's like literally 10x the price. Like these, a lot of shirts that get made get made so cheap because companies can make like 10,000 of them justifiably. But when you're going to make six, the, the people that are making them are like, yo, we're not going to just make you six, shut our whole production down to make your six shirts and charge you the same price. Because once this once the setup and once it's up and running, yeah, then they can just they can just hammer out shirts. But like they got to get it all ready to go, set it all up, do all this stuff for six shirts. I mean, it's a lot of work for not a lot of money. So yeah. they charge you a lot to compensate. So that's why you can't. It's hard to just go and yeah. Well, it makes sense that if you were to do your own. Do you know how to sew then? I don't, but I've been interested in getting into learning. But I've also been trying to learn camera and photos. Like I got There's enough so shit much in my head shit to do. That if I start 
turn on a sewing machine, I think I might just lose my Well, mind. that's the thing, though. Like, have a balance of different things you're learning. Like, I'm, I do a lot of video, but I love, like, reading and fucking, like, I've done, like, I haven't done a lot, but, like, meditating and fucking, I don't even fucking know. Just a fucking thousand random things. Because then it's a good balance. And learning new, like, I fucking learned to play the guitar last, this fucking summer. Yeah, well, there you go. You gotta get those, get men. But everyone's different. I'm not gonna tell you to do it. Like, I do think that some people... No, it's a good point. Honestly, it's been weird. Like, I've been thinking about that, and, um... I well, know where I could learn. I know the person that the person that. So basically, now my production for all the stuff that I'm doing for clothing because I'm still doing it. Yeah. I just, um, and it's out of Ottawa. So there's actually a lady in the East End who who has a production facility in the East End and sews it. And she also does sewing lessons on the side. So I was like, shit, I'll just go in and like learn sewing on the weekend and check yeah. out and shit. But um, yeah. I actually got into a store the other day, so I'm going to be in Truv Men's. It's like a consignment shop. Okay. But, like, I'm there as a vendor, so I'm actually going to be able to sell the collection. Have the co- that collection dropped, right? It hasn't dropped technically because I didn't drop it. But now that it's in a <laughs> I store. I made the video for that. <laughs> I know you did. And it's dropping, Dax. It's on, baby. It's on. It's, 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 in, it's in Truv Men's, baby. <laughs> It's going in next week. <laughs> yeah, okay. And like, finally. <laughs> finally. Hey, it's fall winter, baby. We got to get that. Yeah. Know? It's not the actual. Most fall winter collections would go out in like like August. But I guess I was like, I was losing a bit of hope on the idea of just selling because I had. Well, yeah, I guess. But like at the same time, people, you know, people are in that vibe now. You know what I mean? Oh, they're they're in the vibe. I haven't. I'm, I'm not in the vibe to shop for a fucking winter jacket in August. No, nobody is. Like me, I don't, I shop for a winter moms. jacket in winter. Moms, moms. I mean, that's kind of sexist to say that, but I feel like it's it's kind of it's not sexist, it's just a stereotype. I don't know. My mom was definitely down to go get some like back to school clothes or some shit, and I'd be in, but I wasn't just I wasn't running to go. I didn't want to get the thing that I had to wear in October. I wanted this shit I could wear it right that day. Yeah, no, I, I agree. Okay, so that's the point. Okay, so you got that drop, and then now you transition into cameras kind of thing, and uh, what's your play with that kind of thing? My play with that is just a... Do you just like, love, you just like doing it kind of thing? Mm. Are you trying to build that personal brand, or what's the what's the future of Cam? What's the, the future of Cam? I don't know. I mean... You're just going with life. I'm just going with it. I, I mean, it's freelance. It's uh, it's stuff. I, lo- I just like doing the videos. I like it more so than... Are you trying to, do you trying to leave the engineering job? If you can. I mean, eventually, if I can create a self or do you like job, do you like the... En- the I mean, I would. Anyone wants to work for themselves, and yeah. you know what? People can say they want to be in a job. That's fine. You can go ahead and yeah. find yourself. Well, it's more secure, right? Yeah, like you know, secure, but like secure is bullshit. So like, well, okay. The thing is, is like, it's everyone's different. People want different things from life, so it's always respect of people doing what they love to do. Yeah. But when you're in something that you were like, you truly want to do something else. I'm not. That's what I'm saying. Like, I, I'm trying to put some work in to be able to do something that I'm passionate about. So I'm never gonna feel bad putting time towards that opportunity and if that's in photo if that's in video if that's in clothing you gotta have you gotta focus at some point on something that's clicking that's clicking but ultimately having that uh, freedom of time and just stuff like that where you can at least um you know just organize your own schedule like you can like you work your you work your ass off i mean you'll work hard for someone else but you'll work your ass off for yourself yeah because it's for yourself yeah people are like you know what i mean it's just it's all you always do better for yourself than somebody else I mean, yeah, it's going to be the case on most for most people, but yeah, I, I don't know. It's with, with the video, I just like it. I like sitting there on my computer, and I like doing. I like just honestly, I, I can agree with you so much. Like it just, I literally sometimes I'll literally just be there sitting, editing, and smiling. And I realize I'm like, That's why the <laughs> fuck am I smiling right now? Because yeah, you did some. Because no, I see like notes. a sick edit, and like yo, this is good, and then I'm just like. And just like fucking like this, like smiling or some shit, like you're like a creeper. Like if you be fucking looking through my window and you see me smiling and editing, you're like, what the hell is going on? Yeah, with they this think you're playing some like but computer no, game. no, like it just <laughs> murking some murking some kids. It literally, it just, it just makes me happy. It's just fucking sick to do. And if I can, you know, do it full time, kind of just doing just to li- live to live. That's honestly, that's my like recently what I've been finding is just like, yo, I'm alive. Like that's that's all I think about. Yeah, well, you can go exactly. I mean, that's that's a good play. I mean, honestly, I think that you know, with especially when you're doing something that you enjoy doing, you can come to that perspective. It's hard when you're trying to force something for other reasons, like if you're trying to, you know, make a ton of money and then that's forcing you to go down a job you don't like. It's hard to really take the mindset live to to it live. It is. It is because you don't have that that thing yeah. that makes you kind of you know get up in the morning. Like I get up every day early as shit. Fuck, I don't. And I and I go to work and then I come home and then I. I get to work early so I can leave work early yeah. like during the day. It's I still put the same hours in and then I can go home and then I have more time at night. So then I work like I used to do that. 
I still do it. And I put like another five or six hours in when I come home from work on stuff that I love doing. Now, some people might call it work. I don't call it work. Yeah, I agree. I don't fucking call it work at all. I, I, I just call it work, work so like people know like, you know, I'm not wasting my fucking time because like, like go to school or some shit. But like then the, then you get that hit of that. Oh, you got to have the balance, which I do. That's one thing that I need to be better at is I'm pretty all or nothing guy. So I notice that I get hung up on literally just and you'll burn out and you just I want to keep the I just. With the balance, you can then enjoy the, to the fullest extent what you enjoy doing. If you eat a Kit Kat, if you like Kit Kats, you go and eat a Kit Kat every hour. You're going to be sick of fucking Kit Yeah, I'm going to fucking hate Kit Kats. And it's a dumb analogy, but it's just like, it's the same concept. It's like, I, I love to do video. I love to do it. But it's nice that you get a, if you get a bit yeah. of a break yeah. so that you reintroduce yourself to that. And it's like, what's a break, you know, like one day, like seven hours of like, or whatever. Like, it's not like I'm trying to go on a six month hiatus. <laughs> I'm just saying that the day to day balance, but it's another thing I've found recently is like change and just do it. Like, it's like, I was talking about the sewing machine thing, bro. Like you, you do that on the weekends. It's, it's a break. It's something else you like. Like it's, a, it's a, it's not, it's a break. You could say it's a break from this, no, you're mixing but you're it still up. doing something. You know what I mean? No, hundred percent. You're mixing it up. And I like that. I mean, I got, I was like focusing on something. I got some heavy ADHD. So when I get something I can zone in on, I'm like, I'm pumped because I can just sit there and just like, yeah. It's like oh, yeah. Fucking ADHD. You're like doing your edit and you're like, fuck, I got to do this, 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 this. Oh, 100%. And like sometimes my thoughts go so, so like crazy. I'm like, shit, I got this crazy idea for the script or some shit. And then once I sit down and write the script, it's all fucking gone. Yeah. You no, know it's you? gone. It's yeah. gone. It's yeah. gone. And that's just the part of You want a thought that, recorder. That's just being sure. a creator. Yeah. <laughs> that's just part of being a, a creator, recorder. I think. Fuck, okay, man, though. Thanks for coming on. Yeah, well, no problem. It's happy to, happy to come on to the podcast with you, man. And uh, Anything you anything you want to say to the the, the viewers? <laughs> no, you know, I mean, well... Uh, Don't you have a podcast, bro? Well, I might be starting a podcast. You can follow me at cam.odo. Okay, he's just going to plug himself. Of course I'm going to plug myself. <laughs> and then uh, you can check out the any, the any of the designs that we're talking about. It's new exit, so it's at new.exit. And, Dot uh, co, right? It, well, the, the website is okay. newexit.co and then that's it and that's you know honestly um honestly as long as you're doing what you want to do and you're taking steps towards it it feels good you get up in the morning and you enjoy you just enjoy your life a little bit more so maybe make some time for those things instead of just you know going going with the flow all the time you know maybe make an exit or something you know what i'm saying oh is that your is that your slogan yeah. you just fuck that this is a slogan plug. That's Except that wasn't even a slogan plug, but I decided to double back. And <laughs> yeah, okay. Plug. That's okay. Not, I've never said that before in my life, but I will say that today on this podcast. Okay. Thank you for listening in. I hope you guys uh, enjoy the rest of your day.